Hello everyone, my name is Prakar and welcome to the third part of my AXM series. Uh, in the last part, we covered the setting up of migrations and entities. So in this one, we'll cover uh, basic CRUD operations, create, read, update and delete. Okay, so we will start off with creating a model. Uh, in the last video, we carried out an insert operation but we passed out like a hard coded string uh, so we don't want to do that we want to get the data from the user so the user will send the data in json format in the post request and we need to parse it so let's start by creating a module called models uh, i've created this mod.rs to include everything uh, within the models uh, but before that I'll include this module inside our main and then uh, I can add as many files as I want so first let's create a user model uh, let's do user models because we'll create multiple models for different purposes uh, now let's include that in mod.rs so this mod.rs will contain every other uh, module which will be a part of models module so this first model we are creating uh, is called user module so I've created a structure for that and now I'll create every field that we have in our table So this model uh, will be primarily used to display data. Uh, currently it's not of any use but uh, we will use this in future. Now this model should derive two, uh, let's say implementation, one is serialize and other one is deserialize uh, just to convert from JSON to uh, object and object to JSON. But to serialize and deserialize we'll need to add a crate so let's add that we don't need any other feature uh, we get everything we need now the basics of models is out of the way so we can start with our insertion operation So I'll update this method only because uh, insertion is working. We all all we need to do is uh, make it uh, take data from user request. Let's create a new model because the model we created uh, takes everything like it has every field, but uh, the user won't be sending all the fields. The user only need to send name, email, and password uh, because UUID and created ID are being created. Uh, when this method is being executed like the insertion method is being executed so let's create this structure now one thing more we can add to our user model is clone it just allows us to clone uh, we don't need that in create user model so we'll leave it as is Okay, so first thing we need to do here is to change get to post because we'll be taking data from the request post request also we need to import post one thing I like to do is just to add underscore and the type of request just to keep track of what type of request this method is using okay so now we'll take a parameter uh, sorry this method will take a parameter of type json and inside that json the structure of the json will be our create user model structure ok so now we'll get all the data in our user data variable uh, and then we can simply use it here
that's pretty much all uh, one thing I like to do is uh, close this database connection because we created this uh, connection inside the method so we should close it here as well so in next video I'll cover uh, routing and also how to share like this database connection across the application uh, and a lot of other stuff which will make this application 10 times better we are not using this variable so let's just remove it uh, because it was giving us warning uh, our method is ready let's run this and test it out in postman we should add one header that is uh, content type uh, application json and now to the body we'll go to raw and uh, set our all three fields the last two will be set automatically so we don't need to set that and here we can see we are getting inserted which means our function is working perfectly the next operation uh, we will carry out is read and to show read operation I will create like a login method because all we do in login is to read the credentials and check that in database so let's change this to login underscore user underscore post we're still using post because data will be coming from user side okay so let's create another model because now we'll only need email and password let's change uh, the data sorry uh, let's change the structure here and now uh, let's carry out our read operation so read is slightly different uh, for this we will not use active model we will use entity and entity with find and now we'll implement a filter uh, this filter is basically defining our where conditions uh, within filter we have two conditions so I'll use condition all and then I'll add like those two condition I'll check email and I'll check password okay so our uh, conditions are ready now uh, we only need one data because there is only one user with this email and password one user per credential so we'll take one instead of all and we'll pass our DB connection and finally we need to await it and that's all we have our data here but obviously we can't use it as is so we'll unwrap it first and then we'll unwrap it once again because we get an option model uh, so this is not recommended because if we get if the option is sorry if the model we get or the data we get is null then this will throw an error which is not good uh, so this unwrap unwrap is not recommended uh, there is a better way to handle that we'll carry those out in our future videos but for now I am showing you just basic CRUD operations that's why I'm using unwrap and unwrap again and again now next thing is uh, the first model we created user model we created it with implementation of serialize and deserialize which means we can convert it in back into JSON that's why I'll use that model here because it has all the fields and we can convert it back to JSON finally let's return this object as JSON and uh, create our route everything looks good so let's just rerun it and go to postman now we have already created an account so let's fetch that so we are done with create and read let's move to update so we don't have a lot of fields so we'll just update one or two fields so this time uh, the method parameter will hold 
path we'll use uuid which we created uh, in user table to find the user and then update it but we still will take a body this body will only have like the fields which we will update so we can update like password or name here because email should not be updated we never update an email inside uh, any of our accounts right so that's why i'll just take name here because we'll create a different method to update password so here i'll just keep it to name but it's the same if doesn't matter how many fields we need to update okay so let's take uh, json user data this user data will only have name but let's just uh, keep it user data so this will be similar to that of uh, insertion uh, we will use active model here to update but we won't get that directly so first what we'll do is we'll find that record uh, using entity the, the way we did in uh, our read request login request uh, here let's do find and filter uh, I am just directly giving it column and equating it to UUID because we don't have multiple conditions we'll need one record because there is only one user with that email we'll await it and then we'll unwrap it and finally I'm adding this into so this into allows us to convert it into uh, active model uh, from model user model into will convert it into the type defined right here so I'll do it uh, entity entity user active model Uh, another thing I need to do is add a mute because we need to make this mutable we will be changing the fields so let's change the name for that we'll equate it to set user data dot name uh, it's exactly same as uh, what we did in our insertion and finally we'll do user dot update db await and unwrap so that's it for update let's just send the response back we don't need to send entire data because friend and already send the data to us to up for updation so we'll just send update it let's create a route for this method and you test it out in our postman so this is a put request because we are updating that's why I'm using put I'll import put as well and uh, f now our path is ready So as you can see it's working perfectly and we, our data is getting updated. Let's carry out our final operation in CRUD that is delete. Delete is probably the easiest operation. Uh, all we need to do is first we'll define our path UUID uh, because we need to know which uh, record we need to delete otherwise we'll end up deleting every record which we don't want so first we'll do path UUID and then let's establish connection database connection first then we'll find it finally what we'll do is we'll use delete by id
so that is pretty much it for delete operation as well it was uh, very easy let's test it out in our postman oh uh, first we need to define our route for this method then we can test it out in postman create a new request type will be delete so as you can see this delete method is working perfectly and finally I'll add one more uh, method we have covered all the crud but in read operation we only uh, printed like one user but we may need a method that will print all the users okay so let's create our method uh, this will be a simple get method uh, first let's create our database connection close our database connection let's just set basic stuff first and now we will fetch our uh, users okay so it's quite easy uh, we all we need to do is do find and then we just simply find all of them we just use dot all and give it da database variable Uh, but this is giving error this is because the model uh, user model the default user model cannot be converted into JSON so we need to convert the data which we get here into a JSON for that we will first uh, map it into our user model which we created at the beginning of this video and for that we'll first uh, turn it into a iterator and then we'll map the model okay finally we put a collect at the end and this still gives an error uh, this is probably because we need to define the type of data which we will get because it can't automatically determine that let's create our route and finally rerun the project This is simple get request let's let's send this and here we can see we are receiving an array of uh, our object which is the user object so let's add one or two more data points and then let's test it out once again So that's all for this video. Please post your questions and suggestions in the comment section and stay tuned for more Axum and data structure videos.